Oh, hello there. So nice to see you. Uh, hi. <laughs> um, today I want to teach you how to join a Courtney and a Courtney topper together. I've had a few people ask me how to do it and I'm sick of explaining it over email, so I'm going to show you, okay? It's very, very simple. All you're going to need is your lovely teasing brush, some tea pins, some clops, some padding, a Courtney and of course a Courtney topper. Okay, so let's get started. Very, very simple. I'm gonna get this up one second. Now, you take your Courtney and then you split it across the top from ear to ear. Like so. Fasten that with a clip. On both sides. Fasten it with the clip, so you're left with this, okay? From ear to ear and across the top. Now, get your Courtney topper with your padding, depending on how big you want it. If you don't want it very big, then you don't have to put padding in at all. Um, but I want this to be quite big, so um, I've got quite a good chunk of padding. Stick that inside your Courtney topper. Now place that on the back, over that path that you've created. Now to make sure that it's positioned properly and even, we're going to put it on, oh excuse me, one second, okay. And then take your little T-pins and just pin it into place temporarily, temporarily, to make sure that you've got the symmetry right. So then what I'll do, I'll, I'll move that hair so I can see the hairline and I can then get my fingers and measure the distance between the hairline and the tarper and they're right, of course they are. So now we've got that, then take you, oh I forgot, we need pins, of course we need pins. Let me get some pins, one second. Okay, I'm back. So I've got my lovely tray of pins. And uh, actually, I'll show you this. I love a tray of pins. The little wigs with that and sticker on it. Yeah, they're not going to be selling soon on our new website. Coming soon. Um, anyway, so I've got these lovely big, you know, the, the, the big jumbo pins, nice and strong. And then we're just going to cross pin all the, um, the perimeter of the topper. Making it nice and secure. Don't forget to take out your T-pin because that's nothing nice when you stick a wig on your head and there's some T-pins in it. All the way around. I always do the uh, the corners of the topper first so that I can take the T-pin out knowing that I've taken the T-pin out because I have done that quite a few times. Left them in. Okay. And then the top and punch it through the wig. You want it to go through into the bases of the wigs to join them together securely. Oh, okay. Now I've got the top half and the sides and now to the back. And you can see. Find the, the back of the topper which is here and pull it down nice and firm. and then secure them and cross pin. Do that on the other side. Find the back, which is there. Pull it down a little bit. It's not gonna cover the whole base of the back of the wig because you've got the padding in there that's gonna, that has lifted it up. But you don't need to have it down to the back. Okay, and that is done. And literally, that's joining your topper together. Now what I'll do is I'll just show you how to brush up the front to look fabulous. So, okay. So now I've got all that, that body and bulk at the top with the padding. We don't need to really tease that now, which is good. It saves your wig, it saves your topper. And so we're just gonna just, just put some back combing into the front of the, um, of the Courtney. Find the part where you want. Let me have a look. 
I think about there are good, don't you think? Maybe. Is it even? I can't see when it's this high. I need it a bit lower, but then if, you, if I have it lower, then you can't see because of the camera. Okay. I'm a bit buzzy, actually. I um, I quit smoking yesterday, and I'm on the patches for the first time, and ooh, they are buzzy, aren't they? Oh, I've got oh, nicotine soaring through my veins. I was thinking about the next time I go out for a couple of drinks, I might just pop on a patch and, you know, have a great time. Um, okay, so, once we've got our little part, then just go through. And put some back combing through the hairline and the first top half of the wig. Using that section that we separated. As you can see. And I am actually going through and just doing the very edge of the topper, just because sometimes where the join happens, you get a bit of an indentation, a little bit of a flat bit. So just making sure that the two marry together well. I'm going to take that little section in there of the topper and just give that a bit of back comb. And as you can see, how easy that is. Where is where's my part? Now you don't want to brush the top of uh, the Courtney too much because it does sort of tend to go a bit frizzy if you if you separate the curls too much. It comes back with a bit of spritz of water, but I don't want to have that extra step, so I'm going to try and not brush it out too much. And then the top. I always love working with the Courtney because it's just so easy. Because it's got that messy, beachy look, it means that you don't have to have every hair perfect. It doesn't have to be sitting in the exact right spot for it to look amazing, which is always nice if you don't know what you're doing. Not me, I know what I'm doing, I'm talking about you. But we're here to learn, so no judgement. All the way through, and as you can see, I'm not, instinctually, I want to, when I back comb, I want to pick up the piece and brush it to make it all smooth, but I'm not doing that. I'm literally just just picking it up and back combing the base. And depending on how big you want it, you might put more back combing in than this, but this is all I need right now. That's all I'm going to show you. Feel free to experiment and go wild. Let your creative juices flow. More. Yeah, more. And now what I'm doing actually, to save that extra step of back combing the front half and then back combing that first half of the, the topper, I'm picking them both up at the same time and doing them together. And that joins them and marries them together even better. So, almost done. Okay, now, oh, what have I done here? Oh no, that goes there. There we go. A little bit of a gap there. I'm gonna make more fat combing. Then, with my fingers, because I want to brush it, I don't want to make it too separate and too fluffy. Just go and push that into place. Just lightly sort of fingering through, <laughs> fingering uh, through the, the waves of the Courtney. Just sort of get them back into a, a nice shape. And then just, okay, my camera stopped without me realizing it. I was so entrenched and so engrossed in giving you a fabulous tutorial that I forgot to keep my eye on the back of the camera. Anyway, so it stopped. I don't know where I'm at or where I was stopped at, but I'm just gonna go back. So I think I got to the point where uh, I was just fingering the hair. Okay, so now I'm fingering the hair, pushing it to place, and then once we have that in the general shape that you want, then I will go and I will spray the fuck out of the front. Just at the hairline, just to hold all that hair back. You don't want to spray the whole thing because you still want movement, you still want it to look sort of you know, a, bit more, a bit more organic. So just use your finger and keep pushing that into place.
And then if you really, really want to be trick and have it locked in, and you can take my favorite product, which is called Fudge Cement, and just spray that front, just around the hairline, just so it gives a really nice support of the style. And then with your uh, hairdryer and diffuser, just go in. And really lock that into place. And then you have your fabulous styled Courtney with Courtney Topper. Now if you want to make it bigger, even bigger, then go through and just follow the same process that I did with the front and just do to the top layers of the um, of the topper and it'll, you'll get, I mean you can do the whole thing if you want, it'll be massive, but for now that's all I need to show you and you can work out the rest yourself. You're not completely useless. <laughs> so okay, is that good? Did you get that? Let me sit down and just say my final words. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me here in my wig room for another free tutorial. Um, I hope it helps and I hope it unleashes your creative genius. Um, I always think at this point I should always say, don't forget to subscribe and like us and follow us on this and follow us on that. And I was like, oh, fuck, I'm way too cool for that. Anyway, I love you so much and thank you so much for watching. Bye.